Continental. Channel 12, your community television station serving the capital area. This Continental Cablevision Channel 12 special event is brought to you by Robert E. Plourd, who is proud to be supporting Pembroke's 1987 Old Home Day celebration. By Epic Corporation, Sheep Davis Road in Concord, manufacturer of custom-designed sectional homes. And by Denroy Shoes at 79 North Main Street in Concord, your family shoe store. Hi, everybody. I'm Don Dunkley, and along with Lorette Gerard of Pembroke, we're going to be bringing you the 1987 Pembroke Old Home Day Parade. And uh, the weather right now is starting to cooperate a little bit. It had been raining earlier in the day quite hard, but now it's just a slight drizzle, and I know they want to get this parade underway to kick off the big uh, Pembroke Old Home Day celebration. The parade will be uh, coming right down uh, from the fire station, where it is uh, about a mile away right now, and will be, uh, be kicking off. I drove by a few moments ago in the pouring rain and saw some of the children getting ready in, in the, their uh, floats and practicing their songs, and some of the firemen all decked out in their uh, uniforms, and uh, lots of floats expected this year in the Pembroke uh, Old Home Day Parade. And uh, we're just waiting there. You see the uh, view of downtown Pembroke. As I said, the umbrellas are out, and uh, they're hoping for the rain to abate enough to get this parade in here today. We'll be back with the 1987 Pembroke Old Home Day Parade right after this. Nike makes shoes for kids. Running shoes. Basketball shoes. Aerobic shoes. Tennis shoes. Baseball shoes. Shoes to cheer about. Fitness shoes. Soccer shoes. Shoes to jump up and down about. Shoes that will get you pumped. Wrestling shoes. Hey, wait a minute. Nike, you can't keep a lid on it. I'm Denise Howard, fashion show coordinator for Channel 12, and this is Barbara Jobin. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Denise. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Barbara visited Heaven's Creations and Moms, too, where she registered for the fall fashion show's free fall wardrobe giveaway, and she won from over 1,300 entries. Barbara, I am very pleased to present to you this packet of $50 gift certificates from each of the 10 participating stores in Channel 12's fall fashion show and a $25 gift certificate to Headquarters Salon, especially for you from Channel 12. We, we want you to have a carefree shopping spree at all of these Concord merchants. Heaven's Creations and Moms 2, Headquarters Salon, Bow Galley, Junior Dev, Junior Varsity and Concord Youth Center, Joe King Shoes, Gatherings by CJ, Haggett's All Sports, She of Concord, The Princess Shop, Mickey Finn, Solomons and Sears. A few short years ago when I was uh seven, eight, nine years old and going up to the boys club, uh, the facilities weren't too bad. If you think of it, those same facilities are still there. The boys club meant an awful lot to me. I spent many, many hours there from the time I was six to 16. This is the first time that the boys club has had a capital fund drive in this city. We're gonna help, I hope you can too. Hello again, everybody. Don Dunkley here, back with Lorette Gerard, our expert commentator for today's presentation of the 1987 Pembroke Old Home Day Parade. And you see the uh, lead police car just entering the downtown section here of uh, Pembroke Allenstown. Uh, Lorette, uh, this part of the town is, is referred to as what exactly? Sun Cook, Sun Cook Village. Sun Cook Village. Well, Lorette, I'd like to welcome you to our uh, broadcast of the Pembroke Old Home Day Parade. And Lorette, along with Patty Fowler of Pembroke, are largely responsible for what we are about to see here today. Not necessarily for the rain. No, no, uh, Lorette will not take credit for the rain. It has been raining a lot harder than it is right now, though, Lorette, uh, about an hour and a half ago. So right now it's just sort of a light mist outside, so we're going to get this parade underway. Terrific. Now, uh, the picture you see there just ahead of the main parade, which began about uh, 20 minutes ago, up at the uh, Pembroke Fire Station. Pretty good-sized parade this year, Lorette. Is, is this uh, the biggest ever and best ever? This is the biggest 
this is the biggest ever. Um, we've had quite a few folks entered, 15 folks. I'd like to mention while they're in camera view, Suncook Valley Street Rods, and uh, their president is Butch Sabian. And that's little Brian Feffelief on his three-wheeler. He doesn't look like the rain bothers him too much. No, not necessarily. When did the organization for this parade begin, uh, Lorette? Back in January. So it's not something you just put together last night? No, no, it's, it took quite a while. I imagine you spent uh, a little bit of time on the phone with these various people. Who are we seeing here now? We are seeing the antique cars. Um, unfortunately, because of the rain, there will be some identification problems here only because uh, we may not be following the order that my notes are written in. So to anyone who is misidentified, I do apologize. Oh, well, we know who there's that is. Our, yeah, there's our Marshal for our first division. Mike Keeler is Uncle Sam. And what you see carrying, the kids carrying the banner are the, uh, there he is, there's Mike. Um, he is the Marshal for the First Division. We have an honorary Marshal, Citizen of the Year, Donald K. Woodbury, who is actually Marshal for the entire parade, but each division has a parade. We have the selectmen that are following Mike, or that were following Mike. Well, Mike Keeler, Uncle Sam is uh, very tall, and uh, the Keelers don't have to wear any no elevator stilts. shoes <laughs> to get them up. All right, here's our first band. Grand right. State Garrison, Drum and Bugle Corps from Keene. And Mark Lowe is their director. Well, let's listen to the band for a little bit here. Well, they drove over from Keene. Pretty good sounding drum and bugle corps over yeah, from Keene. Yeah, very good. And following them is the Bektash Legion of Honor, Concord Marching Unit, and Chuck Stone is the gentleman in charge of this unit. Pretty good crowd out there uh, today, Lorraine, considering. Uh, I know for old home day, lots of people uh, come back to town that may have left, and that brings out uh, all the local people and all the kids, and they all have a good time. There's the Kimball's Country this Store. This is Kimball's Country Store, and they have taken first place in the commercial division of uh, Parade. We have different categories. We have commercial, children, nonprofit, and general community, and they did take first place in the commercial. Where is Kimball's Country Store? Kimball's Country Store is located on Route 3. And Wait a minute, something's happening here. What? Oh, uh-oh. It, like, it looks like some sort of a uh -oh. holdup. And do you know, all our policemen are tied up with the parade up on Route 3 and every place else. There's not a cop in sight. Hmm. Not uh, that I'm complaining about the police department. They've been a real help to me in this parade, but sure, right but now where, I could use them with this. Where are they when the you need them? parade here. Well, the whole parade has stopped, and something seems to be. Has Kimball's? Uh, you know, they take part in the parade. They don't need this hassle. Does uh, I don't understand Does Kimball's ever have a crime problem? Uh, no, no, they're, they're you know. Well, this Kimball's obviously. is fairly, you know, crime-free, you know, crime-free uh, community. I don't understand why this is happening or why it should be happening. Of all days, not only do we have to contend with the rain, but we also have to contend with this. Look at them. Boy, they're well, sneaking I hope, off. No I police they, around. I hope they made it worth their while. Well, what are the kids, are picking, the kids are picking up some of the loot there. Oh, okay. Coming up is Miss New Hampshire. Miss New Hampshire, and she is Christine Gammons, and she's from Manchester. And she's being driven by Mr. and Mrs. Terrio from Bank Chevrolet. And the next little girl coming up here is uh, Jennifer Schwinard, and she's Miss Junior New Hampshire Petite. She, that's the youngest division of the state. Miss America contest. Okay, and this is the M and W seafood float, and they took honorable mention. And the owners are Marshall and Juanita. There's and one. the guy in the pot. Part I'm man, <laughs> part lobster. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Pot and lobster. I don't know their names, I'm afraid. They ought to feel right at home in this weather.
And here we have our National Guard coming up. Will the National Guard uh, be set up at the Old Home Days itself? Um, I believe they do have a booth set up. They usually had this large gun that they towed in the parade, but because of the rain this year, they decided to put that out. Well, we can't, can't have a rusty howitzer in well, case of an enemy go. attack, <laughs> in case we get attacked by Epsom or somebody. <laughs> New Hampshire Army National Guard. Now, we're still in the 1st Division, is that correct? We're still okay. in the 1st Division. Here comes some, uh, some more okay, folks, veterans. Okay, now we start the 2nd Division, and our Marshal for the 2nd Division, the gentleman in the white shirt, is Mike Annis. He's the commander of the VFW's Sunkwick Post, 2860. And what we're seeing are the combined colors of the VFW and the American Legion. Mike was a real big help out on Route 3. When I saw Mike, I just dumped the whole thing into his lap and said, take over. <laughs> Where is uh, Patty Fowler at this point, the parade She's chair. still up on Route 3. She's finalizing everything on Route 3 and making sure everything's getting off up over there all right. I imagine she has her hands full today. Right. Okay, following. Then we have both organizations' auxiliary, auxiliaries, all the ladies. That's the local VFW and uh, Legion the American auxiliaries. American Legion, yeah. They don't need any identification, obviously. No, nope. see him throwing the candy to the kids. Yeah. That's a tradition in, in a parade. <laughs> the dentists appreciate that, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Let me mention one of our sponsors, Denroy Shoes. Shoes for the whole family, for kids and adults. You'll find shoes for every season. Shoes by Hush Puppy, Floorshime, Naturalizer, and many more names that you know and trust. Denroy Shoes, one of our fine sponsors today of the 1987 Pembroke. Old Home Day Parade. I'm Don Dunkley along with Lorette Gerard, who is the chair of Pembroke Old Home Day. And we're looking at the Old Home Day Parade. The first division has gone by. These are in the second division. These are in the second division and uh, unfortunately I can't identify them and I apologize to the people in the cars only because things got turned around up on Route 3 and uh, I wasn't able to get my updated notes in time. So I do apologize for the people that I could not identify. A happy uh, young lady. Rain doesn't seem to be bothering her much either. No. Okay, and here come the Girl Scouts. And I might mention the Girl Scouts took first place in the children's division with their float. And being a Girl Scout myself, I want to plug the Girl Scouts celebrating their 75th anniversary this year. So, Who's the local Girl Scout leader, Lorette? Do you know? Uh, you mean the chairperson? Nancy Longstrand is our chairperson this year. There we go. Good job, girls. That's great. Nancy is the one on the right bar right on the screen. Lorette, I hear the pipes. The blowing of the pipes. Is there a bagpipe band coming? There should be. Let me see here. That's Check something that you can hear for quite some distance mm -hmm. when the pipes start coming. All right, who do we have here? The, uh, okay. Okay, this is the center dance. This is the Helen O'Brien center dance. And here's our next, uh, our next band. These are the Highlanders. Let's give them a listen. Where are the Highlanders from, Loretta? Um, I'm not quite sure. I don't have that on Scotland. my list. Um, Scotland. This group we're looking at is the Newmarket Militia. And the Newmarket Militia, from Newmarket, obviously. <laughs> okay. Looks like a 1966 Mustang to me. Let's see those. Okay, that's, that's the Miss 
Junior Miss. There she is. That's Jennifer Schwinnard. And she's from Pembroke? She is from Pembroke. That's quite an honor. It sure is. To have a local girl yeah. uh, make it that far in the competition. Yeah. She is the youngest. That is the youngest division of the state Miss America contest. Is she Jennifer having a good Schwinnard. time or what? Boy, she sure looks like she is. <laughs> Okay, and of course he needs no identification whatsoever. It's Santa. It is. Boy, he, this is his off season. <laughs> so he, That's probably why he's undercover. <laughs> <laughs> he's used to more uh, snow than rain. But. Uh, this here comes another uh, float, Lorette. Okay. Looks like uh, quite a bit of work went into this. It is, and I can't read the writing on the. <laughs> if we can't pick that out. Yeah. I'm trying to see what it says on the... Oh, that's Miss O'Brien's dance, school of dance. So I just identified the other one. It might have been her other dance entry. Let me check to see who that would have been. Picture of a big dump truck there with balloons on the back. Yeah. And a float uh, coming right along behind. We can see who this is. Okay, that's St. Jean the Baptist Church's float. That's from a nonprofit organization. And in checking my notes here, they took first place in nonprofit organization. Well, they were all singing out on Route 3 in the rain when I drove by about an hour ago. So the <laughs> rain doesn't bother them at all. We're watching the Pembroke Gold Home Day Parade, 1987 edition, brought to you on. Channel 12 by the Epic Corporation on Chief Davis Road in Concord, manufacturer of custom-designed sectional homes, the Epic Corporation. Okay, what we're looking at is Play World, or what we would not formally have called Benson's Animal Farm, and that's uh, Elephant and Mighty Mouse. Yes, that was too bad, but we heard about the Play World uh, closing in October. Yeah. I and grew I up with Benson's Animal Farm, really, as I'm sure you did. I give them credit for coming here this late in the season to take part in our parade, too, seeing how they're closing and all. We really appreciated that. Mighty Mouse, here I come to save the day. Of course, he should have sung that, not me, but I'm <laughs> kind of recapping what I remember. Right. <laughs> another old vehicle, another, an old truck. Another old vehicle, and because of the rain like this, I think it turned around, so... I can't identify the vehicles, the years, the dates. Uh, they are all judged. We judge them by the oldest and the furthest traveled, so they all end up getting the wins. What, do, do you know which one did travel no. the furthest? I, at this point, I don't know. Uh, my nose got kind of washed out when we flew back there. One of the hazards of the rain. rain. Day Okay, it sounds to me like I hear the Alpine band coming up. Now, who is this? The Alpine band from Manchester. All right, Manchester's Alpine band here at the Pembroke Old Home Day Parade. Let's listen. The Alpine Band from Manchester getting a pretty good hand here as they go by our Channel 12 location. All right, Lorette, an anti-littering float, it looks like. Okay. Who's this? I have to read the... I'd have to read the sign on the side, only because I didn't get to see all the floats up on Route 3, and it's hard to identify them. I don't know what position they were in. Well, we can clearly around. get the gist of that float. Yeah. <laughs> littering is illegal. <laughs> Let's keep Pembroke clean. These are general community floats that uh, were rented. Okay, I recognize Stanley Grimes. I can identify Stanley Grimes. Um, I don't want to incorrect, incorrectly identify the other, the other ones, so I won't mention any names on it if I don't know. Those little calves are probably yeah. wondering, why is the ground moving? Mm -hmm. This is M&W Seafood. They entered a second float. They actually have two businesses. 
And this yeah, one behind is them the, and the John Deere hay, tractor. Yeah, the John Deere tractor, hay wagon. I might add that hay wagons are, hay wagon rides are offered down in the field during Old Home Day. And they are sponsored by Caponi Truck. No, they're not sponsored by Caponi Truck. They're sponsored by La Valley Oil and Green Gold Farms. Okay, here comes a nice float, and I need to know who that one was. Maple Grove Campground. Where is that located, uh, Lorette? That's located in Epsom, I believe. Mm -hmm. And while we have a slight break, let me mention again our sponsor, the Epic Corporation, your authorized Epic dealer and builder in Merrimack County is Habitat Corporation. Visit Habitat's model home at the Epic factory on Route 106 or call 224-8898, 224-8898 for an appointment. All right, it looks like okay. a tow truck and a piggyback ride. Yeah, I'm just going to list them as I see them. Uh, Pembroke Towing. There's a little guy, a future yeah. big truck driver, perhaps. Yeah. Um, well, I just don't see any identification on the truck. <laughs> Jack Lewis, Art Poole, E.J. Prescott, breakaway truck stop, Burton Curley, has put sand and gravel. They were all entries into our big truck division. Good Earth Landscaping was the one that was pulling the... Now, what is that? Is uh -huh. that a... I can't tell, some sort of a cordwood thing? Me. I, I don't know what that is myself. I, I see. It was, a, it was an old antique single-cylinder engine that they okay. used years ago. That's a new one. My father-in-law collects those. That's how I happen to uh -huh. know. <laughs> Here's the fire chief, probably, and uh, his assistant. <laughs> Who is the fire chief in Pembroke? The fire chief is... Well, why did you ask me that right now? Because you're our expert commentator. And I know him, too. <laughs> um, oh, for goodness sakes. Now you know when that name is right off the top of you. Well, it'll come to you. Yeah, right. And there's his <laughs> assistant. He'll come to me this afternoon. I'll say, oh, my goodness, of course. It'll I come to you when he sees this uh, program. Yes, it surely will. I just hope I don't have a fire at my house. <laughs> <laughs> the fire department is terrific in helping us a little home day. They put up the big signs on Broadway. They really help us a lot in doing all kinds of things. I called to ask them to straighten it out because the wind had done the number on it. And they were right over there to straighten the sign out for us. They have a foam demonstration, a bucket brigade, brigade, yeah, yeah, brigade down well, in the field. It takes a special kind of a person to, to be in the fire service. Yeah, it does. Uh, Hank Monroe, thank you. That is our fire Hank chief. Hank Monroe is the fire chief, you see? <laughs> I am I saved. Knew you knew that. <laughs> All right, what point in the parade are we now? Okay, uh, I think what we're co what is coming up now is the, no, well, there's still more fire trucks. Uh, this would be towards the end of the parade. We keep the fire trucks at the end in case of emergency so they can have fast exit. Tritown will be coming up, and I might mention Tritown is celebrating its 15th anniversary this year. And I can't say enough for Tritown. They're a volunteer service. It's the first year that they actually have paid paramedics on the staff, but for 15 years they've been volunteering their services. And the original founding fathers of Tritown are Peter Varr and Reverend Hugh Topless, and they should be in the parade. Or they, There's the Allenstown, Allenstown Mutual Aid truck to come yeah. down and help us out yeah. with the Pembroke Parade. Right. This was the first year that Allenstown was asked to participate in the parade as far as selectmen. They also judged the votes and marched in the parade, and we're trying to make this a joint community effort with Pembroke and Allenstown, so uh, we're very pleased that they accepted and hope that we can continue this tradition of having both Pembroke and Allenstown participate in Pembroke Old Home Day. Well, the two towns have been really together over the years uh, in their proximity. And right. In that they send their children to the same high school. Yeah. And we probably missed it when we got started, but there were two little gentlemen that were representing Pembroke and Allenstown carrying a band with uh, a banner with um, hands shaking with 
hands across the water representing our river and now the Hopkinton uh, fire truck just went by and the okay. and there's a Hooksett fire truck. So see these are all entries I wasn't even aware of. We didn't think we were gonna have as many fire trucks come in this year. It looks like the uh, annual fire prevention parade. Here. Really? <laughs> Thank goodness it's raining. We don't have to worry about fires, right? Hopkinton, Hooksett, Allenstown, and Okay, Cumber. and here you have the Tri Town ambulance and the founding fathers are in that vehicle. Now they've been in business for fifteen years. Well, and and were founded volunteer. by those two people? Yeah, volunteer, actually. But yep, they've been in an organization since then. My town founders. That's right, they're getting a round of applause, and they really should. Well, anyone who lives in the in this area, the, the Tritown area, knows the value of the Tritown Ambulance Service for mm -hmm. sure. And anyone who has a scanner will know that uh, they are called out all hours of the day or night and uh, are a valuable service. And you say this is okay, the first Don. year they're paying their... their uh, Paramedics. Yeah, this is the first year that they have volunteer. What's happening now, Loretta? Well, I don't know. I'm looking. That's my niece hanging on the door there. And is it? What's her name? Her name is Kathy. All right. <laughs> Kathy Gerard. And she's kind of hanging. Whoops, they almost lost Kathy. Do not lose Kathy. Kathy <laughs> will be married in October, and we don't want to lose her at this point. <laughs> okay. Is she an EMT? Or? Yes, she is. Yes, she yeah. And that brings up the rear of our parade. The ambulance always has the rear only because they need that exit in case of emergency. They need to know that they can get out fast. So that brings our parade to an end. All right, and they last uh, float the Granite State Garrison Drum and Bugle Corps, which uh, we uh, have already seen. All right, Lorette, that uh, is it for the Pembroke 1987 Old Home Day Parade. And now you can see the uh, the folks, uh, they'll be heading off now to what, Memorial Field, where yeah. the basic activities uh, will be Lots held. of activities going on today. I'd like to just give a thank you to uh, Mr. Ernest Pitsy, who, or Pettit, depending on where you come from. He's the gentleman that let us put our cameras in, the, uh, in his building and use of his power. Is there and anyone else that we'd like to mention before we... Everybody who helped with this parade. It was fantastic, and I appreciate it, all the help that everybody could give us. Well, thank you, Lorette, and we appreciate your expert uh, commentary here. Okay, on another thank you to John Groff, our town clerk, because he's the one that made all the signs for the, for the parade. Okay, and once again... He's our the, community artist. Once again, what's the fire chief's name? Hank Monroe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got that right, huh? <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Lorette Gerard, who is the chairman of Pembroke Old Home Day. I'm Don Dunkley, and thanks for uh, joining us for the 1987 Pembroke Old Home Day Parade. This Continental Cablevision Channel 12 special event has been brought to you by Robert E. Plord, who is proud to be supporting Pembroke's 1987 Old Home Day celebration. By Epic Corporation, Sheep Davis Road in Concord, manufacturer of custom-designed sectional homes. And by Denroy Shoes at 79 North Main Street in Concord, your family shoe store. So long, everybody. Nike makes shoes for kids. Running shoes. Basketball shoes. Aerobic shoes. Tennis shoes. Baseball shoes. Shoes to cheer about. Fitness shoes. Soccer shoes. Shoes to jump up and down about. Shoes that will get to pump. Wrestling shoes. Hey, wait a minute. Nike, you can't keep a lid on it. I worked at the club for a year and a half. The kids were great and the program was very useful, but the building was very in inadequate. If you want to get involved in our capital fund drive, please give the club a call. Any help would be very much appreciated. The kids of the Concord Boys and Girls Club need your help. If you have not been contacted and would like to participate in the capital fund drive, please call 224-4917. The 1986 edition of New Hampshire Notables contains biographic sketches of 422 leading citizens of the Granite State. They are business leaders, community leaders, artists, poets, athletes, educators, people whose work will stand the test of time. New Hampshire Notables is an invaluable resource for today and for the future. It is available at selected bookstores or by mail from Peter Randall Publishers. You've got the best on Continental.
Channel 12, your community television station, serving the capital area. Grab your coat, don't forget your hat, but leave your worries, leave them on the doorstep, life's sweet. Just direct your feet to the sun, sunny side of the street. Bum, ba, ba, doodle, dad, pitter, pat. You know that happy tune is your step, life's so reet. If you dig that feet on the sun, sunny side of the street, used to walk in the shade. With my blues on parade, and what a drag, old man, get stuck in the shade, get it. Don't be afraid, move it on over, keel yourself in the clover. Mm -hmm. Only here for a cent, who cares? Rich as Rockefeller can't be beat. Gold dust round my feet on the sunny, sunny side of the street. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wing lovers. And we do appreciate that sun today, after that cloud of fog. It hasn't it been cloudy, you. though? Hadn't it, though? Hadn't it? Hadn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> this next song is a Glenn Miller song called A String of Pearls. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da